happy Sabbath. I hope you are having a beautiful and blessed day. Today I'm going to read you a children's story. It's one of my favorites since I was little. It's called Harold's Runaway Nose. Now I'm going to read you the story and then show you the picture after each page. Harold used to look like an ordinary bunny. He had soft fur, long fluffy ears, and a cute little pink nose, just like all of the other bunnies. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> but one day that changed. Harold caught a cold. His fur was still soft, his ears were still long and fluffy, but his cute little pink nose turned into a big red stuffy nose. Harold was not happy. He doesn't look happy, does he? No. Harold's mother brought him nose drops. This will get rid of that big red stuffy nose, she told him. Just tilt your head back. So she squeezed two drops into each nostril. Harold wondered what was going to happen. He didn't want his nose to go away, just the cold. Would nose drops really make his nose drop off of his face? Hmm. You can lean forward now, Harold, his mother said. Suddenly, Harold felt frightened. He leaned his head forward very slowly. He could feel the stuffiness going away. Then he heard his mother saying, Oh, for heaven's sake, Harold, don't just stand there. Your nose is running. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, Harold panicked. So my nose did drop off my face just as I feared. And now it's running away. What shall I do? Quick as a flash, Harold was off and running too. He was running after his runaway nose. He ran through all the rooms in the house and he searched up in the attic. And he searched down in the cellar He searched out on the porch, but he could not find his runaway nose. There was only one other place it could be. His nose must have run into the garden. Harold, get your handkerchief, his mother told him. Why, what a good idea, Harold thought. I will use my handkerchief as a net, then I will surely be able to catch my nose. Harold raced into the garden with his handkerchief raised high in the air. He scurried across the grass and crawled through the bushes. <laughs> there he is with his handkerchief. Aha! He exclaimed as he pulled out his nose from his hiding place under a thorny bush. But it wasn't his nose at all, just a plump, juicy raspberry. There it is, hiding among the flowers, Harold said. But when he got closer, Harold saw that it was a lonely red rose, not his nose. Harold hopped past all the bushes and shrubs and got very tired. He wished that he could pause to catch his breath, but first he has to catch his nose. Then Harold spotted it up in an oak tree, hiding in a pile of straw. He tried to trap it, but it flew away. Well, that isn't my nose either, Harold realized. That's a baby robin that I have just frightened from its nest. Harold grew very disappointed. He was sure he would never get his nose back. He had never felt so sad in his entire life. 
Harold began to cry. He cried and he cried as he walked slowly back to the house. When Harold's mother saw him, she asked, What's the matter, Harold? Why are you crying? Harold tried to tell her that he wanted his nose back, but he was crying so hard that the words just wouldn't come out. I want, I want, uh, I, I, I want, was all that he could manage to sob. Oh, Harold's mother became so flustered. Oh, Harold, just stop it. Just look at yourself. All that crying has brought back your big red stuffy nose. Really now, is that what you wanted? Harold ran back inside to the mirror. Surely there was his big red stuffy nose at the middle of his face, just where it belonged. Harold stopped crying and jumped for joy. Oh yes, mother, he answered excitedly. That's exactly what I wanted. The end. This story reminds me about a promise in the Bible. And this promise can be found in multiple different books of the Bible. And the promise is, God will never forsake you nor leave you. And that means that God is always with you and he will never leave you all by yourself. Just like Harold thought that his nose left him, the truth is we need to realize that God will never leave us and he is always there no matter what. And if we feel lonely and scared and maybe a little tired and we feel like God isn't with us, the truth is he is just as close as Harold's nose was to his face. He is right there. So if you need to talk to God, just cry out to him and say, Lord, I need you. And he will be right there even at the tip of your nose. He is always with us, no matter what. So if you need him, pray to him and just say, Lord, I need you right now in this moment. I'm, I'm struggling in school, or I'm struggling with friends, or I don't understand what my parents want me to do. He is always right there for you. All you have to do is ask. So I pray that you remember that God is always with you no matter what. Have a great and blessed Sabbath.